Hey, it's Chandani with WeDharma.com. I am tuning in here from Squaw Valley in Lake Tahoe from the Wanderlust Music and Yoga Festival. It's been an absolutely illuminating 48 hours to be with some good friends and to practice a lot of yoga and meditation with some really incredible teachers. We took John Friend yesterday back to back, then we took Vinnie Marino. Um, after three classes of yoga yesterday, I was so sore yesterday and today I was even more sore but also reborn in a way that only a lot of yoga with really great teachers can sort of do for you. I don't know if you can see behind me but that's Squaw Valley right there, move out the way, it's absolutely beautiful. We've been very lucky to stay with the kind invitation of some very close friends that have a home here that's absolutely breathtaking and to be up here around so much prana so much life force energy, so many mountains and trees and, and fresh, crisp, clean air. And then to have the, the gift also of practicing yoga, like I said, with these amazing teachers has just been a timeless affair. And I feel really, um, I was saying today earlier that I feel really empty, but in a really full way. And I think that's um, sort of what yoga does to you. It really empties you out. And with that emptiness, there's a paradox of feeling very full and complete and present. Um, and also very sore. Um, but yeah, yoga is a great way to understand that the only way to fulfill your life is to go in. And by in, as Rod Stryker was explaining today in his meditation class, it's about um, the seer and the seen. So we look to be seen and we look to see. But when we can fuse that external seeing and being seen inward, then we have a window into the relationship we have to the mystery of eternity. And that's the best way we can describe it in words, the eternal aspect of our connection to this reality, which is for just a little while. There is a place inside of us that transcends the proximity of the limited, um, the limited structure of time and space. So to be able to practice yoga in a community where others are coming in to surrender to that aspect of the seer and the seen on an inward journey is really fun. And the music was amazing. We went to see Michael Fronte on the first night that we arrived, and that was really fun. What was interesting to me was that there were so many people here, so many more than... This is my second time at Wanderlust, and I came a few years ago, and it sort of was the first one, and it's grown a lot. There's so many people here, and so many different ages of people, people in their 60s, young kids, and everything in between. It's really refreshing to be around a sort of cross-cultural, cross-generational group of people that were all here in the name of letting go and becoming more flexible in more ways than one and having a good time. So it's been absolutely amazing. If you've never been to the Wanderlust Music and Yoga Festival, check it out next year. They really put on a great experience for all to be had. And I wish you were all here with me because it's really magnificent and just remember that if um, you allow yourself the space to take a plunge into things you've never done before and know that newness is around the corner and actually on the inhale and the exhale there's a new you waiting to be had then the journey of this life is a continual adventure into the unknown of absolute bliss and happiness and growth and expansion and healing. This is Chandani with WeDharma.com. I just wanted to tune in a little bit from my experience here at Wanderlust in Lake Tahoe. See you all soon. Much love.